Okay shooters, uh, right now I'm standing here in front of the uh, Dillon case feeder and uh, I have a bowl over here or a bin of uh, finished and prepped brass. Uh, the brass just finished coming out of the swaging process so now it's ready to be reloaded and once it's finished it's ready to be fired. Um, we're going to be loading it here onto the uh, Dillon case feeder. Um, the Dillon case feeder directions say fill up the bowl here uh, no more than halfway. I would adhere to those directions. Brass in itself is not too heavy um, but when you have more and more, it actually equates to weight. This weight will equate to the load being put on the case feeder motor. Um, as you all know, Dylan has probably the best uh, warranty in the industry. But this is in regards to the presses and the presses only. Uh, if memory serves me correctly, the um, case feeder and the uh, Dylan trimmer, uh, those are not warranted like the presses are. I think those only have maybe one, maybe two year warranty. Don't quote me on that. Find out for yourselves but it doesn't have the same warranty as the presses do. Once again, this brass is already finished. It's been swayed and it's been ready to uh, be reloaded. Um, in all the reloading process, like I mentioned before, it's always better to have a little bit less and do a couple of loads at a time. Um, you'll get uh, a better finished product and it'll actually work a little bit faster as well. Um, we're over here in the final stages uh, for the reloading. And uh, once we get the case feeder going and we start uh, reloading the brass, you're going to see that it's going to start moving very, very quickly. Um, about the only things that are going to slow you down is if something happens to the brass and it gets uh, fudged up within the press itself and you're going to have to remove the brass and make the correction whether a primer is not seeding into the brass or um, you know something happens. You notice something about the brass, it's split or something that you didn't catch before. So you're going to have to remove the brass. Uh, the second thing is filling up the uh, primer tubes. And the third thing is coming back up here and uh, putting more brass within the case feeder. But uh, once again, once the brass is done in the reloading process, it's finished. It's ready to be fired. So I'm going to be loading up the bowl here about a quarter of the way full. And, uh, and that's about it. We're going to go down to the reloading process. So uh, Robin, we'll see you down in the back cave in about two mics.